Hi, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would rate my Byredo collection. I have eight fragrances here. So if you want to see my Byredo collection, please keep watching. Before you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps out my channel. I will also put my social media handles somewhere here. I post more fragrance content on my Instagram as well as on TikTok. So if you want to see more fragrance content, please go check out my social media handles. Okay, so in my number eight spot, we have, this is Velvet Haze. Um, this is heavily patchouli based. And at one point in time, I really did not like patchouli, but there is just something about, it's like a dirty patchouli on top of that. It's just something about it that smells just so good. It's like minty, but sweet, a little earthy. Um, the only, the only issue I have with this perfume is do not overspray it because it will choke you out. I oversprayed it. I think I did. Even I feel like four sprays is way too much. I would do maybe two, three max. I think I did between four and five and I was like choking myself out the entire day. So it does have really, really good um, longevity and projection for a Byredo fragrance. I know Byredo is not good um, with that, but it is one of my favorite houses. If you like patchouli a lot, you're gonna really like this fragrance. It's like a just a tad bit sweet, which I like about it. And I feel like it's great in like the fall and winter time, which is really nice. And I feel like if I want something different and I wanna smell more unique that day, I will definitely reach for it. And coming into my number seven spot, it is Slow Dance. Oh my gosh. This smells so warm and comforting. It's like a little, a little sweet, but it's a very, very powdery scent. And I think that if you like powdery scents, then you might really like this. I also love the description. I believe it's supposed to be like, you're at like a high school dance and you're slow dancing together. And, it's, and this is kind of like the smell that's in the air. And I think that's just, it's so cute and adorable and in a weird way, I kind of understand. It has this kind of powdery, sweet, romantic smell. And it's so unique. I don't think I have anything in my collection that smells like this, which is great, but it's just, I feel like warm, cozy, cold night with like a sweater and you're watching like a cute little romantic film or something. No, yeah, this is exactly what it smells like to me. So, my number good. six spot I have, this might shock some people, but this is actually a Mojave Ghost. And this one is ranked pretty low just because it reminds me of like, like a shampoo or like a conditioner. It's very musky and like fresh, clean. I feel like it's a perfume that you'd wear if you were like running errands or something like that. It's nothing that's like super spectacular or super unique per se. It kind of reminds me of like the way their like hair care products, how they have like the corresponding perfumes to match the scent of the shampoo or conditioner. That's kind of what I feel like Mojave Ghost reminds me of. Just like super clean, fresh, freshly washed hair. So yeah, that's why I rated it so low. That's why it's in the number six spot because although it's nice and it actually has really good lasting power for Byredo, like it's great to wear in the office or school if you don't want to like offend anyone. It's also great for one of those. Um, and I feel like you should try and you should check it out. I'm sure you could find something significantly cheaper for like the office or school or inoffensive sense to be honest, but I do love the house of Byredo. So I felt like I had it here in my collection, but yeah. Okay, and in my number five spot, I have, now we're getting into like the top five, Rose of No Man's Land. And I 
I do really enjoy florals and rose in perfumes. So I'm not surprised that I like gravitated towards this. But honestly, it smells. This is not a rose that I would wear in the summertime. Not that you can't. You absolutely can. But it's such a deep, dark, but fresh rose. It kind of reminds me of like if you get like a bouquet of flowers, like roses, and they're beginning to turn and they're kind of getting like some parts are still red, but it's starting to like turn black. That's what it kind of reminds me of, to be honest. It reminds me of like just a really deep, dark, dying <laughs> rose. I know that sounds super strange, but it's really, really good. But it's also refreshing and clean and airy at the same time. I feel like I would wear this maybe in like the daytime of like winter or spring on like a cold day. It just has that like cold, chilly vibe to it but with like rose added which i really really like and it's not like overpowering but it's such a beautiful and gorgeous scent that i think that anyone could really enjoy or like so this is why it's in my number five spot and i have it here in my collection because i do enjoy rose and i am obsessed with it and in my number four spot i have led tulip and like I said previously, I love florals, but honestly, this just, oh my God, it smells incredible. It's like one of the most realistic tulips I've ever smelled. Granted, I haven't smelled a lot of perfumes with tulip-based notes, so, you know, take that as you will, but it's like, it almost feels like you are like like holding a gigantic bouquet of tulips in your hand and you can smell like the fresh flowers, you could like smell the stem, the leaves, the whole entire thing. I think that like if you like florals and you love, oh my god, and it's just like so, oh my god, like so fresh and clean and like floral but like not in like a mature way like floral in like a really young vibrant type of way which i love so much and i think that if you're a person that gravitates towards florals or a fresh scents you at least have to get your nose on it and sniff and test it out because it's so good it's so good i haven't worn it too much this spring fall because i've been wearing so many others but I did like the fact that it lasts a really long time, which I'm shocked. I sprayed it on one of my shirts and I picked up my shirt the next day and it was like I was folding it and I could get a whiff of it. And I was like, oh my God, Byredo usually never lasts that long. But I love this so much. Please check it out or sniff it. It's really good if you're really into floral scents. My number three spot <laughs> is... No, that's going to shock. Another shocker. It's actually Val the Freak. And I know a lot of people might think it'd be like in my top, like my number one, but it actually isn't. And it's in my number three because it's more of a fruity scent. And although I'm not a fruity type of girl, I love the way, oh my God. I love the way it smells. It's like a little sharp, sweet. It kind of smells a little bit like pineapple. I believe there's like some vetiver in there, um, but it's one of my favorites. And I think that like everyone should have this. Like it smells so, so, so good, you guys. It smells like a little lemony, really fresh, really clean. And I like the fact that Byredo does really fresh and clean smells because I definitely, as you can see, lean really towards like fresh and clean but this i feel like is like grown up fruity if you know what i mean like sometimes some fruity perfumes smell very like juvenile like they're just kind of like a blast of like synthetic fruits this just smells like magic like just magic 
absolute magic and you have to smell it if you haven't already. My number two spot, <laughs> this is Blanche by, by Rado. And if you could see that, I have used this thing to like death. Okay, so like I said before, I really like clean, fresh smells. And this just is like the epitome of that. It's like super fresh, clean laundry, a super white, crisp t-shirt, or like you just like getting in your sheets and just like smelling like fabric softener, but in like the most bougie and luxurious way possible. And I'm not a huge fan of aldehydes, but let me tell you, this made me fall in love with aldehydes. However, the performance and the longevity and the sillage is horrendous. Like it is so, so bad that like I'm like dousing myself of this. I actually want to find a dupe for this. I tried warm, is it warm cotton by Clean Reserve? But I didn't like the aldehydes in there. But I need to find a dupe for this because it smells so good. But like, would I buy it again? Yes. But can I justify the price? No, but it smells so good that like, I don't care <laughs> about the fact that like, it's, I know it's not worth the price, but like, I'm not going in blind. Like I'm aware that it does not last and it has horrible performance, but I love it that much. It's like floral and aldehyde and clean and fresh. And I feel like if you're going through like burnout with your fragrances, like if you're just wearing powerhouses fragrances all the time and you just need something like inoffensive, clean, not bothersome, this is the way to go. I also feel like it's great for the office, great for every day, great for school, great if you don't want to like offend anyone. Even if like if you work in a hospital, I can imagine you wearing this to be honest because it's like it's so close to the skin and it's so light and fresh that I can imagine you not offending anyone with this to be quite honest because it just smells like you washed your clothes. <laughs> That's literally what it smells like, but this is my number two and I love it so much. If anyone knows a dupe for this, please let me know because please let me know. I know Oil Perfumery has a dupe for this. I'm gonna try that and fingers crossed, you know, that it really is a dupe because, oh my God, like, look at this. Look at that. I'm like running so low. My number one spot is of course <laughs> G Water by by Rado and I remember smelling this years ago I got a little sample from Lucky Scent and I remember being like I don't understand what the hype is about this literally smells like bad water no I'm not kidding I was like this smells like rotten water or like water that's been sitting out in the sun it has like that weird weird water smell that's what it smelled like to me i did not understand the hype at all i was like this cannot be the perfume that everyone's talking about and then i smelled it again i feel like when my nose by that time when i smelled it i was just getting into like perfumes so I feel like maybe my nose didn't develop, but then after like a few, maybe like a, two years after I smelled it, I smelled it again and I fell in love. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's just, oh my gosh. I can't even describe how good this is. Like how good, I need like a hundred ml bottle ASAP, like a sap as soon as possible because it's that good it's like the tiniest bit sweet the tiniest bit citrusy but like it leaves this like beautiful slightly sweet citrusy airy feel on your and like every time you get a whiff it just smells good down to like the base notes it just gets 
better and better and better as it develops throughout the whole day. I love it that much and I feel like everyone should smell it and smell me because it smells that freaking good. Like, oh my gosh, where has this been in my entire life? Like if I had to pick some of like my top for life, this. I would take this over blanche. And, and I and you saw how empty that bottle was. But I would take this. Oh, because it's so good. The great one that I think you guys should check out or sniff. Or if you sniffed it once, like I did, and you didn't like it, try it again because you're you might have just completely changed your mind about the fragrance if you smell it one more time. But yes, my baby. Okay, so those were all of my biradial fragrances that I had to show you. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye!